We had reached the all-star break in our first season with the Las Vegas Venom, and our first year expansion team was sitting at 31-25 and in the fifth seed in the West. This team was led by three young players this year in Jalen Smith, our starting center, Isaiah Joe, our starting shooting guard, and Markel Fultz, who was our first overall pick in the expansion draft. We would sim up to our March 10th matchup against the Lakers two weeks after the all-star break, and they were a team that was only three games behind us who we would be fighting against for a playoff spot this season. We would come off the break with a win against Golden State, but still had yet to find our first win against our expansion team counterpart in the Seattle Supersonics. After dropping two games in a row in this loss to the Jazz, this win against the Suns on the road was much needed, and we would go 5-5 five and five in our next 10 games leading up to our matchup against the Lakers, who were now only a game and a half back from us in the standings. Let's see if we can get this win against them here at home and keep our playoff position, as this game gets tipped off and is underway in Vegas. Lakers would start out with the ball as LeBron would get them on the board first tonight, and we were looking to respond quickly as Markel Fultz would find Jalen Smith on the pick and roll. We had got our first bucket of the night and we're rolling on offense now as we would get our first early lead of the night on this fast break play from Dante Exum. D'Angelo Russell would answer right back with a floater of his own though for the Lakers and their lead was back up to three points and would be extended to five here by Austin Reeves. LeBron was showing why it was so difficult to guard him as he was scoring and dishing out assists early on here for his team tonight and before we knew it we were down by 10 points in the first quarter to LA. LeBron had been having his way against our defense so far tonight in the first quarter, and that was something our team was going to have to change if we wanted to turn things around in the second quarter tonight. Things weren't looking that much better as AD would get a bucket right away for the Lakers in the second, and it would take almost a whole two minutes for us to finally score our first basket of the second quarter, to which the Lakers offense would respond to right away the next possession, wasting no time at all. Our first three-pointer of the night would finally fall for us as Isaiah Joe would knock this down from the top of the key, and he would follow it up with another one to get it back to a 10 point game for us. But no matter what we were doing on offense, we just could not seem to stop the Lakers on defense at all tonight as they would keep attacking the basket against us and were getting easy looks for points in the paint. It was looking like this game could get out of hand for us early on if things did not change quickly, but Luke Kennard would step up for us off the bench in the second quarter and would keep us in it. Despite the Lakers still finding easy buckets against us on offense, Luke Kennard had managed to find an answer to them in these last few minutes of the first half, both with his shooting ability and his passing ability for us. He would knock down a three-pointer to get it back to a 10-point game right before halftime, but of course LeBron would find a way to score right before the buzzer for LA, so we would head into halftime down by 12 to the Lakers. We would get things started out in the second half with the first bucket, trying to cut into this lead, as we needed to keep it somewhat reasonable by the start of the fourth quarter if we wanted any chance at the comeback tonight, but that wouldn't happen if we were going to keep leaving LeBron wide open shots like this one. Thankfully Markel Fultz would respond right back with a three-pointer of his own for us, and that shot seemed to spark some sort of new life into our offense in the third quarter, but I really wish it would have sparked some life into what little defense we seem to have, as it was still the same as the first half, giving up easy points in the paint to the Lakers. Not only that, but they were starting to extend their lead even more over us in the third quarter, as this shot would put them up by a staggering 20 points over us now. This was not the situation we wanted to be in if we wanted any chance at coming back and winning this game tonight, so we had to start making up ground immediately on this lead LA had built over us. We would go back and forth trading buckets with them and hadn't made too much of a dent in their lead as LeBron was still scoring buckets at will against our defense so far. This basket from him in the paint would put the Lakers back up by 17 points and it was not looking good for us now headed into the fourth quarter. Luke Kennard had the hot hand earlier tonight so we thought why not let him go at it again in the fourth quarter. If he could keep knocking down shots we would just need to be able to get some defensive stops and that might actually give us a chance at coming back here and winning this game tonight. So far, our plan had been paying off as Luke Kennard had knocked down two threes in a row for us. But why not make it three in a row for us on this fast break play from Kennard? Unfortunately, the defensive side of our plan still hadn't been working yet as the Lakers would get their lead back up by over 10 points over us. That didn't seem to deter us at all though as we were still fighting strong in the fourth as Luke Kennard would get it back down to only a single digit deficit for us with his three pointer. He had been on fire for us in the fourth and we wanted to keep getting the ball into his hands, but LeBron was playing just as well as Kennard was for the Lakers, unfortunately. We were grinding it out though still and would manage to get this game down to only a 7 point deficit for us, but once again the Lakers would get it back to an 11 point lead late in the 4th. With just over 2 minutes to go, we needed to start getting some stops against LA, as Markel Fultz would finally get our offense back on track with this big time slam. He would then find a cutting Isaiah Joe to get it back to only a 9 point deficit, and then would hit the biggest 3 pointer for us all night with just under a minute to go in the game. 
Street. Markel would follow it up with another one to bring this down to only a five point lead for the Lakers, as now we would have to intentionally foul them. LeBron would be sent to the free throw line for the Lakers, and he would end up knocking down both of their free throws. We needed a three point shot to fall desperately for us, but unfortunately, Markel Fultz's foot would be inside the line on this shot, as even though he would sink it, it would not be enough for the comeback, and we would drop this one 95 to 90 to the Lakers at home, where once again we were embarrassingly out rebounded by our opponents, which played a big factor in this loss tonight. Our next matchup was going to be the first game of the last month of the season against the Kings, so we would go ahead and simulate the three weeks up until that game, where most notably we defeated the Seattle Supersonics for the very first time this series. The rest of those three weeks didn't go as well as we ended up going five and six in that time span and had finally been overtaken by the Lakers for the fifth seed in the Western Conference. Thankfully, our team was healthy and didn't have any injuries headed into this last month of the season. As Jalen Smith was still our leading scorer for the team, Markel Fultz was still not only a great scorer but a great facilitator with him being our assist leader and Isaiah Joe was still consistently our best outside option when we needed a three-pointer. This main core was going to have to continue their great play through the last six games of the season for us as we were currently tied for the seventh seed and only a game and a half away from the eighth seed. And if we fell into either of those spots, it meant we had to play in the play-in tournament to earn a playoff spot.